Now I want to discuss with you about the cubic polynomials. As very much aware you are that the any cubic polynomial has its form like ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d provided a is not equal to 0. This is the cubic polynomial. It is a cubic polynomial. Its degree is how much? Its degree is 3. If its degree is 3, how many zeros it has? It has or a cubic polynomial has 3 zeros. What is meaning by 3 zeros? It has 3 values of x which can make this result as 0. So, if I ask you how to calculate, the method is very much possible that first of all, the first zero will be obtained by using remainder factor theorem. Remainder theorem, factor theorem's concept we can apply to make the, to obtain the first zero and then with the help of that zero we divide and we will obtain a quadratic polynomial and then two more zeros of obtained quadratic polynomial can be obtained. Now I want to tell you if there are three zeros alpha, beta and say symbolically gamma. What is the relation between three zeros and these coefficients? The three relations are alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b upon a. Then alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha it is positive of c upon a. Then third relation is alpha into beta into gamma is minus d upon a. As a cubic polynomial has three zeros, so it has three relations between the coefficients and zeros. And in previous case, quadratic polynomial has two degree two zeros. So there were two relations, sum of zeros minus b upon a, product of zeros c upon a. It has three degree three zeros. So there are three relations that is alpha plus beta plus gamma that is sum of three zeros of any cubic polynomial is the relation minus b upon a. Then sum of zeros taken two by two that is alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha is what positive of c upon a. Then product of all three zeros alpha into beta into gamma is given by minus d upon a. So if any cubic polynomial is given then you can find or estimate or verify the relation of zeros and the coefficients. Similarly, as you have been doing the problems in verification of your problems of that is quadratic polynomial. So this is something about what is a polynomial algebraic expression having a special kind of form a0 plus a1x as earlier discussed with you, then types then degrees, then zeros, then something how to calculate, how to obtain and how to establish the relation between their zeros. So this is something theoretical part and without this depth of knowledge, you cannot move further because at every step you need to use these relations and these concepts. Now I will definitely discuss with you few more problems to elaborate, to discuss, to tell you the detail or depth of the problems of the type.